Hey y'all. So today I'm going to be talking about how God revealed to me my calling and I do have some notes because I want to say exactly what he gave me to say. So the first thing that I want to let you all know is that God will position you to come in alignment with his divine plan. And sometimes it's going to include removal of some people, some things. It's going to sometimes include some pain, especially if you um have done things on your own. And he loves us so much that he would disrupt our plans to get us in alignment with his divine plan. And sometimes it will also include isolation. Not saying that you won't be around anyone, but God, it'll require you to spend more intimate time with God. You know, whereas maybe you were going to go out with some friends, but now you have to spend more time with God. And it kind of mitigates the noise that you'll hear. So that's the first part. Second thing... um, I knew that God was calling me deeper into him around, it really started last June and then um, August was when I knew he was really calling me to go deeper into him. And I wanted to pray more. I was seeking his perfect will because I had done things my way. And I was just like, God, you know, what do you want me to do? And um, keep this in mind God will let you do what you want to do God is not going to force you to be in alignment with his divine plan he will let us do whatever it is that we want but mind you there are some consequences that can come about you doing your things your own way because when you're outside of excuse me when you're outside of the will of God you're no longer in his safety and um and the consequences can sometimes be life-threatening thankfully they weren't for me but they definitely did stunt some of my some of the choices that i made did stunt my spiritual growth but i thank god for his mercy and for his divine plan um and him rescuing me um as god was calling me deeper i i I had a had a desire to fast more he was calling me to fast more he was giving me specific lengths and when to fast um and I just had, it was just a time for me to just be real with God. And I'm, this is talking about the time before he actually told me, leading up to him telling me what my calling is. And even after that, because it's still, you know, he still has had to give me insight what on what that looks like for me. So I just had to be real with God, let him know, you know, how I felt about things, how I felt about my spiritual walk and just life in general. And when you're going deeper in God, you know, you just have to be honest with God. You know, he already knows what you're thinking. He already knows what's in your heart. But in order, you know, it's just like in a relationship, you share things with that person or those people to build that relationship. They become your confidant. So God is like our ultimate confidant. You know, he knows everything about us. He created us. He knew us before the world even began. And I I also let God know that I was confused because I wanted to know my purpose in life, but I didn't. I was like, you know, Lord, I'm confused. I thought I was going this route, but no, I'm not. So, um, and he tugs on our hearts by giving us desires for the things of him. So if you find that God is, it seems that God is like tugging on your heart and you're just having this desire to do the things of God, you know, he could be showing you, he could be giving you a desire that is in alignment with what he has called you to do on this earth. So my, the third thing is, I don't know if that my battery is running low, but what I was saying was that God will give you desires that are in alignment with his divine purpose for your life. The third thing is that um, I was just, I just said, Lord, what's my purpose? And it's important to pray in the spirit. Um, that way we yield to him and we have to be open to what God is going to tell us, right? When we pray, we have to be okay with him saying no. And even the things that he says yes to, we still have to continue to seek him for insight. And honestly, I'm going to get into that, but the calling that God, um, revealed to me at first I was in denial, but we're going to get into that. So I was in my room one day and this might've been like in early August 2019 and I was just like Lord you know I was praying like God you know what and God knows our heart too and I was just sincere and I was like Lord what is my purpose like what what have you called me um to do and God spoke clearly I mean clearly it was just like preach and I was like "Mm, (laughs) I don't think that's God nah Lord you know what what else you got (laughs) what else you got so um so I ignored that and then like may ignored that then maybe like a few weeks later, not not that much long, not much longer after that, I was riding in the car and God spoke to me a scripture and I want to read it to y'all. He spoke to me Luke chapter four, 
verse 18 and i had never really i've read the book book at that point in time i had already read the book of luke before i don't know if i've read it like all the way through but i hadn't i wasn't familiar with that scripture luke 4 and 18 says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised in 19 says to preach the acceptable year of the lord so god showed me luke 4 and 18 and i i didn't look i don't i don't know i looked at it i looked it up on my phone i'm like okay so god has called me to preach and i'm like man so i um and god will always send you confirmation i want to read you something else he will always send confirmation so it doesn't stop there you know after god reveals to you your calling it doesn't stop there because we def we need more insight as to what that what that calling will look like for us because every person has their own unique personality and of course we have to you know everybody got to preach the word for those that he has called to preach but every believer is supposed to be going around spreading the gospel anyway mark 16 and 20 and they went forth and preached everywhere the lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following amen so god will always confirm confirm his word he might well actually that was him confirming his word when he gave me that scripture luke 4 and 18 because he had already told me um preach but at that point in time i was still getting to know the voice of god so i didn't really know like okay is this me but god confirmed it and then he confirmed it again a few months later and going back even before he told me preach in august god had led me to start back singing songs on youtube he he was he kind of showed me that you know hey i gave you a voice and you're not using it i had stopped singing i used to sing in the choir when i was a little girl but i wasn't really singing i wasn't singing at all like not like at church or making videos or anything so god had led me to get back on youtube and that was his way of even preparing me and god god when you if, when I look back on my life, and we all can probably attest to this, when I think about the roles that I've had, <clears throat> even when I was younger, like in high school, I can see how God was preparing me to preach the gospel. So, um, I'm looking down at my notes. But yeah, like I said, God is always preparing us for what it is <clears throat> that he wants us to do. And we must be sensitive to his spirit open to his direction and obedient spend time with him daily romans 12 and 2 we know it lets us know that we shouldn't be conformed to the ways of this world i'm gonna read it i don't want to i don't want to paraphrase romans 12 and 2 romans 12 and 2 says <clears throat> And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So, you know, sometimes in the world, looking at it from a worldly perspective, we assume like, okay, because I did. I'm like, okay, when I get out of college, I'm going to go get this job. I'm going to do this and that. And God is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You haven't even sought me. Because <clears throat> all through college, I had this idea that I was going to go to grad school perhaps get a phd but that wasn't in god's plan so we have to be willing to just be to the bible says lean not to your own understanding um acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path so the thing about it is those things they could be good things but if it's not in god's will for your life then they may not succeed they're good things you know a lot of people told me that i may have went should have went to law school but if th that wasn't in god's plan and it's best to follow God's plan because he knows everything. He can see everything. You know, I heard a lot of people say before, just because it's a good idea doesn't mean that mean that it is a God idea. And that is so true. So I was like, okay, God, you've called me to preach. What is that going to look like for me? So a couple of months later, maybe like around January, I heard God say evangelism. And I'm like, okay, evangelism. And I can even, and God was even preparing me for that when I was in college too. The little things that I did in college, not even really realizing like, hey, like that was evangelism looking back at it. So God definitely prepares us. You just have to seek him. God, I promise you, if you seek God about what you should be doing in this life, because everybody has a purpose, right? Everybody has a purpose. Everybody has, God has given you something. He's put something in you that he wants to um, use for his glory. And you're special. You are so special. <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. Um, you are so special to God. 
You know, he, he, he loves you so much. He has a perfect plan for your life. And I understand that sometimes we can get a, ahead of ourselves. I did it. Um, for example, I didn't expect to become a teacher assistant um, at the college. I, if somebody would have told me that would have been the job that I would have had at the college, I would have been like, I don't think so. Not And, and I love that job. I ended up loving it, you know. Um, but I just would not have expected that. I expected to just go to grad school. So I didn't even really expect to have a, a, a serious job after college. I just expected to go to grad school and maybe just have a little job on the side. But I just thank God for preparing me and, you know, getting me out of the way of myself. Because sometimes we can be in the way of ourselves. Because understand this, God has the perfect plan for your life, but he is not going to force you to walk on that path. He's not going to force you. So seek God about... um about what your purpose is and just just a, a quick overview um just remember if you're seeking god for for what your purpose is you know make sure you spend intimate time with him yield to his spirit be obedient be willing to to do what he says to do not what you want to do and just surrender it all to him say god you know this may be scary you know i have this plan but what is your plan for my life so i'm going to say a prayer for you all dear heavenly father i thank you god for this day and this opportunity to pray lord i thank you lord for your divine plan for each and every one of us and god i just pray god that you will give us the strength god to surrender our plans and our desires to you god i pray that your our desires will be in alignment with your desires for our lives, God, because truly you know what's best for us, God. You know our beginning and our ending. So, God, I plead the blood of Jesus over the brothers and sisters that will see this video. I just pray, God, that you will give them the strength to um, see their worth, the strength to seek you, Lord, for what your will is for their life, that, that you may be glorified. And, God, I just pray that our flesh will decrease, God, and that you will increase. And, God, if there's anybody watching this watching this video lord that has not been saved i pray god that they will be baptized in the name of jesus god and filled with your precious holy ghost lord and depart from iniquity and lord just help us god for those that are saved help us god to continue to strive for, to strive for perfection every day god through your spirit in jesus name i pray amen i love you all and i pray you have a blessed day